Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just asked a little while ago how to vectorize this item. And this is a pretty easy one, but it's a little bit different. So here I brought in a copy of it. And let's select it. And let's go to bitmap and let's resample just to look at it. It's 300 dot print, so it's good. Go up to bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, black and white. Go up to Trace, Outline Trace, Clip Art, which I use a lot. Just takes a second. Now go up to Object, Group, Ungroup Object, and just click on any of the white part. And it moved away all the white. And we can look at that by drawing a rectangle, filling it in with yellow, putting it to the back of the page, and you can see the white is still there. So let's make sure it's ungrouped, and it is. Let's grab it and hit delete. So now we just have the outline. Now we can get rid of our yellow box. Now, what I would do in this case, let's zoom in here a little bit. I would put no fill. So I left click the mouse, right click the mouse, and you get these double lines. So the easiest way I've found to do this is take your Smart Fill tool and fill in your objects that you want to keep. And sometimes you might have to zoom in to get these, get out rather the double lines. And then take your shape and get it out of the way. So now you can left click, right click, and there you have ve vector hairlines of that shape. Now I don't know if they want the circle, but that's very easily done. Control G and make a duplicate. Hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's get rid of this one. Oh, I might have got rid of the wrong one. No, 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 that's not it. Let's back up here. Here's the shape we want. Let's get rid of this one. That's grouped together, hit P and put it in the center of the page. And why that is important is because now we're going to draw a circle around that. That's not quite big enough, but I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now, the uh, earth cutouts are not perfectly round, so you just need to keep growing your circle and then use your nudge distance not quite big enough yet. Put P. Now just use your nudge factor. If your nudge isn't moving fast enough, hold down the shift key and it'll move, it'll macro nudge it. That's a little bit big. Now if you hold down your shift key, it'll grow it from the, the same point and then just use your nudge factor and there you go. Now I don't know what their attempts are with this, if they're going to cut it out, but there's a lot of possibilities you can do with this. Uh, let's just look at our Smart Fill tool, and that's what it would look like. And then you could actually probably move that out of the way, and left click, right click, and now you have that same scenario. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.